right, you guys, so I just want to go over something that I noticed um, last night and then today and review with you that Bitcoin is diverging from the SPY. So what you have is the S&P trading in this, um, basically a breakout of this upward wedge and consolidating here, setting up this, uh, what could turn out to be a, a bull trap, right? And so the important thing to take note of then, everybody um, has caught on to this idea in the crypto world that you have, um, you know, they'll say, well, just the S&P and Bitcoin trade side by side. They don't really call out the fact that it's completely diverged from the S&P right now because they really, again, don't understand what moves markets, which is the whole point of what I'm talking about here. So what you see is if Bitcoin was trading along with the SPY and the SPY setting up and breaking outside this pattern, then what you should see is that Bitcoin should be trading up here, right? Because it should be setting a higher high, just like the SPY is doing, but it's not. It's diverged, right? So the SPY, what that means is the SPY is, is trading this way right now right in a pattern in this upwards pattern and guess what bitcoin's just kind of doing that right it's not getting any um momentum so that's the thing to pay attention to and um you know some of these indicators here that no one talks about if you go over here to the 10-year treasury this trades basically it's not inverse but it will give you a leading indicator as to what's happening with the tech sector all right, so when this is up, this is not good for Bitcoin. When this is um, moving in this direction, this indicates risk off. Now, from where it was, we're not seeing, it's not at extremes, right? But you're setting up this pattern, right? So if this breaks higher, then you're gonna see Bitcoin lose strength. That's basically what you're looking at. So anyway, Bitcoin has diverged from the SPY and uh, there's real quick something to look at and pay attention to. And again, adding to the KuCoin short position, the ETF, that's what I'm doing is um, I'm accumulating these ETFs, which I'll go over later. I should set a video up about that in this area because what you could be in I was just saying this yesterday what if in the macro pattern what if you are in the recovery phase and in the bear rally of the of the recession what if this possibility plays out and this week you're all looking for opportunities what if this week is the week or this month is the month where the bear market rally takes place and prices don't return here until august of next year or even two years out because that's that's what a bear market is you could be at the high right you could be at the high right now of a larger macro pattern as I pointed out in this real quick recession video right if you go back here you can see that you might be in the high of this macro pattern so what does that mean if you hold these ETFs and you can see I sold everything up here so I know a little bit of something if you hold those ETFs and the uh, and Bitcoin's never traded in this bear market, what could happen? And everybody's calling twelve thousand. Well, they don't know. It could be nine thousand on Bitcoin. It could it, Bitcoin can bottom out and stay here for six months. See, these people don't know what they're talking about because because they've all traded in a bull market. That's all their experience is. They don't look at it and go, huh, I wonder what happens when Bitcoin trades 
in a bear market. Hmm. Right? So if you hold these short ETFs and Bitcoin gets caught for a prolonged period of time down here, and then in this bear market just kind of does this, well, you're holding a bag of ETF and this 12,000 can break down to nine, nine can break down to six. And, and people are like, well, that's impossible. It definitely is not. Definitely is not impossible because they have only traded. Their ideas are all coming out of the fact that they made a bunch of money in a bull market. They've never traded a bear market. So that's what's up, guys. Anyway, pay attention.